you know, bring in that water flow to your energy. You know, you can learn a lot from water signs about how they process their emotions. Um, they, they can read emotions really well and they know how to process because that's their thing. That's their drive. Their, 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 their groove. It's water, right? And it's constantly flowing. So in order to bring in those serendipity moments, you want to stay in that higher power space. Okay, if those emotions come up, if there's things that you need to purge, reach out and get help is what I'm hearing. Detoxification is the health card I pulled for you. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for cleaning up my body, mind, and life so I may happily and healthily feel live free of chemicals. Now, this can be diet. This can be substances. This can be, um, you know, mental states, okay? Um, a lot of different things. I really feel like you guys have... I think if you could step out of your life for a minute and look at where you started and look at what you've been through and look at where you are now, okay? You know, other people would have taken them like 10 lifetimes, right? Like, I think you guys really just need to give yourselves some credit here. Um, you are coming to a fork in the road here. Um, I think some of you have already understood this and have already made this decision. Okay, I've got the soulmate card coming in here. For some of you, I think you've realized that you need to be your own soulmate first. Okay, I've got peace and I've got clean it up. And they're telling you to just keep going here. Just keep going. I'm going to get another card for you. While I'm doing this, please remember to check out the description box. There's books there. There's a free download. The intro to astrology book has charts and downloadable stuff if you're ta if you're listening to tarot people and they're talking about uh, a certain planet in your house all of that is there with with terms defined so it's an easy reference manual there's also intro to tarot and talks about the history of tarot and there's a free download i've got the me card coming in here for you leo i allow a serenity to reign in me the love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I listen to honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. Okay. And I don't necessarily like the needs of my soul, right? It's more about uh, understanding what you need to be healthy and to grow. Okay. I also have, oh, sorry about that. I also have shining light. My desire to improve myself transforms fear into strength. I raise my thoughts above doubt. I find faith in the goodness of the universe. I love and accept myself as a soul and I discover the light that dwells in me. That's really why we're here, Leo. Okay? Really why we're here. I've also got the deer. Gentleness in diplomacy. This is a reminder to be gentle with yourselves and others. For some of you, you might want to look up the number 222, okay? I'm also getting that, you know, you might have started on a path and felt like it was the right one, okay? And you ran, it was like a challenge for you and you thought, oh, wow, wait, is this the right direction? Is there a better one, okay? And I want you to understand that as you go through this process of living, you are going to come up against obstacles. And when you take the time out to look at them, you can decide, do I want to go through it? Do I want to go around it? Do I not even want to touch it? Do I want to change direction? Okay. So when you stay gentle with yourself, when you stay, especially Leo, you're such a charismatic fire sign here and you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve. So by taking that time, and being gentle with yourself, taking those quiet moments, learning how to be still is where you're going to find the discernment. The diploma, diplomacy aspect of this is to be gentle with yourself. The dear spirit animal reminds us to be gentle, specifically with ourselves. Okay, this was also flew out here. Listen to life. I am attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen and discover the way to the eternal. How do we do that? How do we see these things? It's by being still, by being quiet. Okay? 
I'm going to pull an oracle card for you. Maybe two. Uh, it looks like two are coming. I've got play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Okay. I'm also hearing all good things in moderation. Creating heaven on earth. It's happening. I'm also hearing you're kind of already doing this, Leo. You're already doing this. Clarity. Let me trust my instincts, my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May I, my own holy intuition always guide the way. And I've also got confidence. Divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of ego. You make space for something larger to take hold. Please fill me with your confidence, O oh love. Grant me courage I never knew I had. Okay? So if you're standing in your authentic truth, all right, and you're true to those feelings and those emotions when they're coming up, and that doesn't mean, you know, we spew them out all over everybody. But if you're being truthful and authentic to yourself, okay, that's when that confidence comes in. Okay, and this is part of your challenge is what I'm pulling this card. This is part of your challenge. This is the opportunity for rebirth. Notice the flower and the water flowing through the center, right? It's about, you know, keeping that balance. And I'm going to tell you the star was right behind it. Okay, um, I've been asking myself these questions. I do this on a regular basis. Why am I doing this? Okay, what do I want? What makes me happy? Right? Why? And I, I asked them like seven times down. Okay, you are promised victory here. And it's all because of the self-regulation. Here you go. If you're looking for something financial to come in, the opportunity is there for you. Maybe you're focused on your finances right now. The self-regulation is going to bring in that victory. How you're treating yourself and how you're treating others, okay, is going to bring in this brand new life. What boundaries are you setting for that stuff? Anyway, Leo, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the, hit the bell for notifications. I just love you guys. Take good care of yourselves, okay? take good care of each other. Thank you for all the support, the likes, subscribes, and shares. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the messages. And as always, always be kind out there.